third category of oscillate uh, uh, third category of phenomenon which takes place due to superposition of waves is what you call beats okay now for beats to take place i will explain you what beats are now if you ask me what beats is to, to give you an example when it comes to uh, real life uh, scenarios you must have uh, listened to these ambulances they they do this do 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 so there is a high increase in sound and decrease in sound increase in sound and decrease in sound okay so that is a beat so what you see there are those sounds uh, it's it's what you call beats so if you want to create beats what you need to do is you need to overlap two waves that means two waves should undergo superimposition but two waves with different frequencies slightly different frequencies not slightly even when there is a big difference it's okay but uh, our human ear is sensitive to a time interval of 0.1 seconds 0.1 seconds that is the time interval we are sens sensitive to so we know that uh, now if time is equal to 0.1 second that is a sensitive time you know f is equal to 1 over t so f is equal to 1 over 0.1 that is going to be 10 hertz what is the meaning of 10 hertz in one second there are 10 oscillations or 10 sounds 10 beats so for one one uh, beat we it will be heard within this time limit correct what is the meaning of 10 hertz the meaning of 10 hertz is 10 beats in one second so one beat in 0 0.1 second this is the maximum sensitivity sensitivity we have so if the frequency is more than 10 what's going to happen one beat will be heard in less than 0 0.1 second which will be not uh, uh, audible to us now for example uh, in one second if you hear three uh, beats it will sound like this doo, 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 quickly doo, 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 like that okay three three beats in one second doo, 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 doo. you will be able to differentiate these th uh, three doo, 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 like that doo, doo, doo. you saw uh, you heard three sound different sounds right but if the uh, beats is 20 hertz that means in one second there are 20 20 sorry in one second uh, uh, beats is let's say 20 hertz that means uh, in 0 points uh, for one beat it's going to be 0 0.05 seconds then it for us it will sound like like that because like that okay because then the gap between two beats keep on reducing then we will hear everything as one single sound even though there are beats happening i hope i didn't confuse you with that so beats so beats take beats uh, occur when two waves which are at different frequencies undergo superimposition. Now, this is a very, very important concept. All right. Now, when it comes to beats, uh, we define something called beat frequency. So, the equation is very easy. Beat frequency is given by the difference between the frequencies of two sound sources. This is the equation you have to remember. Okay. Right. Now, for example, let us say you are sounding two uh, sound sources together. Example. You are sounding two sound sources because let's say there's a sound source here and there's another sound source here. This sound source has a frequency of 50 hertz. This sound source has a frequency of 55 hertz. You sound them together. Then, as a result, the beat frequencies will be formed. Beats will be formed when two uh, waves, when two sounds or two waves are overlapping here. So the beat frequency will be actually the difference between these two. Okay. So you can take this as f1. You can take this as f2. The answer is 5 hertz, not 105. You have to be careful when two sounds overlap the resulting sound will be beats and the result uh, and the frequency of the beats will be the difference of the two uh, individual waves so frequency of individual waves now when you say 55 f1 you have to use just 50 for the large number okay like that so that this is all beat frequency is all about this uh, 10 hertz for beat frequency i just mentioned it if you want to differentiate those beats and hear them separately uh, then the minimum uh, the maximum free beat frequency will be 10 hertz if you if the beat frequency is 20 hertz you will hear it but it will sound like like that but if it is uh, for example the beat frequency is 3 hertz means in one second you should hear three beats like that okay right now why are beats forming let's see how it happens now i we discussed uh, superposition of two waves of different frequencies 
Now we are going to uh, analyze one example where we are going to uh, overlap a wave of 20 hertz frequency and another wave of 25 fre hertz frequency and let us see how the result is going to be. I have uh, drawn uh, two waves, they by the first initial look in the, at the initial look they might look alike but they are not really. This one I have taken the frequency of this as uh, actually 20 hertz and the frequency of this f2, we will use the same color, f2 is uh, 25 hertz. How am I saying that? Uh, what I have done is for a length of 10 centimeter in both, so that is this part, for a length of 10 centimeter in both, I have taken the length of 10 centimeter as one second time interval, okay. So, you can see one second time interval. This is, uh, I will take this as one second time interval. Right. So, within 1 second if you count there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 likewise 20 oscillations, 20 cycles like this one, 1, that is 1 oscillation. Huh? Here likewise in this one there will be 25 oscillations. Now, for 1 oscillation here I have taken uh, 5 millimeter, here for 1 oscillation I have taken 4 millimeter and what I am going to do is I am going to combine these. Now, these two waves are overlapping, two waves with different frequencies are overlapping. Earlier standing waves Two, uh, two waves equal frequency traveling in opposite direction. Here the direction really does not matter as long as they overlap but different frequencies, right. So, when you combine these two and draw the resulting wave front, what is going to happen? Let us analyze a few then let us draw. Now, they start at 0 and 0, okay, right. After this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, after 4, after 4, you know I have taken each gap as 5 uh, millimeter after 4 oscillations the length will be 20 millimeter. Here after 5 oscillations the length will be again 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter means 2 centimeter that is this point you can see. So, when I keep the ruler like that you can see both the waves 0 and 0 are meeting again, okay. Here they started and here they are meeting again, okay. So, if they are meeting again they are somewhere here that means at the center the maximum the peaks must have met, the peaks must have met somewhere in the center, okay. Likewise, after every 20 millimeter, the zero displacement of these two will meet. So, when you combine these two and draw, you will get a, a setup, a, a final wave form like this. You will actually get wave patterns like this when these two waves overlap. Why is that? Uh, after every 0 0.2 seconds, again the 0, 0 displacement will meet, okay. So, here they will start at 0, they should finish at 0. In between, when these two overlap, you will get a waveform like this. The reason is the there is a slight difference between these two waveforms. Until this point, here we will have 4, no? 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4, but here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4 and 5 are overlapping. 4, I mean 4 wave uh, complete oscillations and 5 complete oscillations are overlapping. So, you will get this. If this and this both were 4, then you will get like this, like uh, everything symmetric. So, this whole thing is actually one oscillation, this whole thing is actually one oscillation now. Why is that? Because the same pattern is repeating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, within one second we have 5 patterns repeating. So, when you, when these two overlap, the beat frequency we get is actually 5 hertz, okay. That means, within one second you will hear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 beats, one oscillation in the sense that is actually one beat. That sound to, 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 so to, 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 so here the amplitude is low, no? so to, 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 like that uh, the, you will hear the pulses, okay. That is why the pulse goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up. If you want to create that pulse, you need to make two sound waves or any wave overlap and uh, you will be getting the beats, okay. So, it, it beats, it is common for any wave, it can be sound wave, it can be light, it can be any electromagnetic wave, beats is something which is common for all types of waves, okay. So, um, this is a rough idea about beats, I hope uh, you understood this.
and uh, normally when you get questions about beats the questions will be related to the tuning forks tuning forks we discussed then you need to know something about tuning forks as well let's discuss a little bit about tuning forks also now tuning forks are, forks are the apparatus we have in the laboratory which are used to create a uh, vibration so if you take a single tuning fork actually it will look like this now tuning forks don't uh, they don't they don't uh, we don't get them in single uh, numbers we always get them in six sets usually sets of six so they will be inside a box you open the box you will see six tuning forks of one uh, one particular uh, what do you call that uh, category all right so when you compare the tuning forks you have to compare tuning forks within the same set you can't compare tuning forks from one set uh, one tuning fork from one set and one tuning fork from other set why sometimes there will be one set where all the tuning forks are larger than all these tuning forks so it, it that comparison can't happen let's say that's the laboratory you have only one box of tuning fork so if you open that box there will be six tuning forks and those tuning forks will look like this they will all have the they will all have a small handle and the handles will have the same length okay same length handle but they will have a part like this which we call prongs the length of the prongs will be different like this okay this is how the tuning forks will be arranged if you see at the laboratory you'll be able to find them this is how the tuning forks are going to look like okay the length of the handle doesn't change but the length of the prongs will change all right so when the size of the tuning fork increases the frequency of the tuning fork will actually decrease keep that in mind okay now normally the uh, the tuning fork with the lowest frequency we have uh, at laboratories this one should have the lowest frequency now why this is the largest one we normally have is 256 hertz and the smallest tuning fork which has the highest frequency usual in the laboratories will be 512 hertz okay larger the size smaller the frequency smaller the size larger the frequency why do we use tuning forks to create oscillations now if you use this tuning fork it will create oscillations at a frequency of 512 hertz if you use this tuning fork it will create oscillations at a frequency of 256 hertz imagine 256 means it does this 256 times one oscillate this this is one oscillation huh? it does this 256 times within a second that is what this means okay right now we have established the fact that tuning forks frequency depend on the size and sometimes you will need to know what how can you change the frequency of a tuning fork not very significantly maybe by four or five hertz you know two or three hertz how can you do that but there are a few uh, methods if you want to increase the frequency to increase frequency what should you do you have to reduce the size okay you have reduced the size so to increase the frequency of a tuning fork what we do is uh, we can scrape the prongs you choose a sandpaper and you scrape the prongs now this prong you scrape the prong so prong will get smaller then the uh, frequency will increase slightly now if you are using this it might become 540 you know 550 not 560 a small increment you can make so to increase the frequency of a tuning fork you can scrape the prong let's say suppose you are looking to decrease the frequency okay you are just trying to decrease the frequency of a tuning fork that means you can do two things one uh, one is uh, you can add uh, wax adding wax on the prong so when you add walk, uh, wax actually uh, the tuning fork will get bigger so the frequency will reduce and the second thing you can do is obviously uh, heating increasing the temperature when you're increasing the temperature also the frequency of the tuning fork can be reduced because uh, when you whenever you get questions based on beats now this is the equation you have to remember beats uh, beats are created when two waves overlap which are at different frequencies overlap okay right so when beats are formed those beats will have a frequency that means how many beats be what is the meaning of beat frequency the number of beats be here in one second and that will be equal to the difference between the two waves we used so here the uh, 25 and 20 what is the beat frequency 5 and i have uh, i drew two uh, wave forms and when they overlap the wave pattern also sometimes they might ask you to draw these things and then uh, 
normally when we get questions, we get questions uh, about beats based on tuning forks. So tuning forks are instruments which are used to create vibrations in the laboratory and uh, larger the size, smaller will be the frequency of the tuning fork. Okay, These values will be marked on the tuning fork, do not worry. So when you see a tuning fork, you will be able to identify it. And we have discussed few ways as uh, in case if you are required to slightly change the frequencies of these tuning forks, we can do these things. Now, for example, imagine uh, there are two tuning forks, okay. Right, I have drawn, uh, forget about the size, there is, let us say there is no big difference in size. So, almost a very small change in frequencies. And let us say the initial uh, tuning fork I used has a frequency of 256 hertz and the frequency of this tuning fork is unknown, okay. So, when you sound them, uh, oscillate them together, the beat frequency was uh, observed to be uh, 4 hertz. Beat frequency was observed to be 4 hertz. So, they will ask you what is this f? Right. Now, what is beat frequency? The difference between frequencies of the uh, vibrating sources. Now, if this is 256, if this value is 252, you will get 4. Not only that, if this value is 260 also still the difference is 4, right. So, for f there are two answers, f is either 252 hertz or 260 hertz. That is how you have to approach questions in this section. You have to be little careful, it can be both, then they will give you more information to figure out whether this is the accurate answer or this is the accurate answer. Now, with the information they have given so far, we cannot conclude one of these answers, both can be correct. because. Uh, I said there is no big difference in the size, we, with the size we cannot identify which one is uh, larger or smaller. In a case like that, then both the answers are acceptable, then they will give you more information to precisely identify whether this or oh, this is correct, okay. Later we will uh, try some examples from past papers. Uh, first uh, let us finish the theory, so this is it for about beats. So we are done with uh, all the properties of waves, we studied 5 properties, reflection, refraction, diffraction polarization and superimposition, superposition, uh, except for polarization, all the other properties are common for all the other waves. Polarization can happen only in transverse wave, but long in longitudinal waves, polarization cannot be observed. So, transverse waves can undergo reflection, refraction, diffraction, polarization as well as superposition. When I say superposition, they can form interference, they can form standing waves and they can form beats. But Longitudinal waves, yes, they can undergo reflection, they can undergo refraction, they can undergo diffraction, they can produce beats, they can produce standing waves, they can undergo interference, but they cannot undergo polarization. So, that is the summary of properties of waves.